Hello and uh, welcome to Loci Mania. This is the slide of the tongue. As you can see here, this is how it looks outside the microscope. So this is 29M of the slides and this is the tongue. Let us go directly to the details. Here we have the filiform papillae. So this is the filiform papillae on the outermost side of the specimen. So these are the filiform papillae as you could see here. They look like some brushes. Next detail we have the connective tissue. But before going on to the connective tissue, I want to show you another specimen of the filiform papillae. It's really distinguishable and you cannot miss it. So this is the filiform papillae and the blue base there, that is the connective tissue. So the base is the connective tissue. I'm going to show you another specimen with the connective tissue. So here we can see the connective tissue, also called the lamina propria. It is the base of the filiform papillae. So the connective tissue is really easy to see. So the blue part there is the connective tissue of the filiform papillae. So the blue part is the connective tissue of the filiform papillae. We also have some uh, blue parts around the skeletal muscle, which I'm going to show you. They are called perimysium. Going on to the perimysium, here it's surrounding the skeletal muscle of the tongue. So that's the perimysium, it's surrounding the skeletal muscle of the tongue. As you, If you look really closely you can see blue staining. So that's the perimysium. It's also a connective tissue but it's surrounding the skeletal muscles. Talking about the perimysium, we are now going on to the skeletal muscle which the perimysium was lining. So here we have the skeletal muscle, the red part of the specimen. So the perimysium is surrounding the red part, which are the skeletal muscles of the tongue. Let's go on to the white adipose tissue here. So it's like a, uh, it's round and hollow. It's round and hollow and it, it has its nuclei on the, on the cell wall, one nuclei. But if you see something that is round and hollow, it's a white adipose tissue, as we could see here. Going on, we have uh, the artery here. How do, you know, how do we know it's an artery? Well, if we look closely, we can see that it's muscle around uh, the artery. If there's no muscles, then it's probably a vein. And if there's cobordal cells, it's a duct. So here we have a blood vessel, it's an artery. It's not a vein, it's not a duct, it's an artery. Why? Because it's distinguished by the muscle cells around the walls of the artery. Lastly, we're going to speak about the two serous glands. We have one serous gland and then we have the light mucous glands. So uh, the serous glands are dark, as we can see here, and they are red colored. So these are the serous gland, it's dark compared to the light mucous glands. I'm going to show you two specimens with the light mucous glands. So it's really easy to distinguish them. Here we have the light mucous gland of the other spec of one specimen and here we have the other one of another specimen. That was all. Thank you and please come again.